There were two things I wanted to do. I wanted to show the things that had to be corrected. I wanted to show the things that had to be appreciated. Louis Hine, who lived from 1874 to 1940, was a social reform photographer in the early 20th century. He is most known for his work with the National Child Labor Committee. Hine began his career as an assistant teacher. While working at the Ethical Cultural School of New York, Hine photographed school events and happenings. He also used the camera as a teaching medium and encouraged his students to take photos. Although Hine taught botany and nature studies, his true passion lied in sociology and progressive reform. In 1905, Hine went to Ellis Island to photograph the immigrants arriving to the United States. It wasn't uncommon to see photos of masses of immigrants hurriedly taken while they stepped off the ferries. However, Hine was the only photographer to take the time to make the subjects of the photos look dignified, even amidst the heavy anti-immigrant sentiment of the time. Frank Manny, superintendent of the Ethical Culture School, told Hine to photograph the immigrants arriving to Ellis Island with the same honor and respect as one would treat the immigrants who landed on Plymouth Rock centuries earlier. That same sentiment echoed through all of Hine's work. The photographs from this series were published in the magazine Charities in the Commons in 1908. Having had experience working with children, Hine began working as a photographer and investigator for the National Child Labor Committee. Heim would disguise himself as a fire inspector or Bible salesman to gain entrance into factories and coal mines. Once there, he would photograph the children in an effort to expose the subpar working conditions. In fact, Heim's photographs aided in the passage of child labor laws meant to protect children from being exploited in the workplace. In stark contrast to his work photographing children, Hine was also hired to take pictures of the construction of the Empire State Building from 1930 to 1931. These photos, meant to celebrate the productivity of post-war America, were published in the book Men at Work and were put on display at the Yonkers Art Museum for what was the largest exhibition of Hine's work. Hine shot with a Graflex camera, which was new technology for the time. Previously, when a photographer looked through the lens, they would see the image upside down on a ground glass. Once the image was cropped and focused, the photographer would insert a plate in the camera which would block the image, essentially leaving the photographer blind. With the Graflex, the photographer could see the subject up until he snapped the shutter, which made composing a shot much easier. Today, Hein is widely recognized for his muckraking work exposing factory conditions, but during his time, Hein struggled to make ends meet working as a photojournalist. By the 1930s, people became less interested in his work. In his last years, Hein was living off of welfare, unable to afford a house. He died in 1940 after a surgery.